you now. How are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. So I'm you're okay. an ex-Muslim? Um, do you know what? I've been watching your um your videos and okay. it's really good in my eyes. Well, it's open my eyes and open my, my ears and what really got me is when I didn't know because I can you hear me? I hear you, don't worry. Yeah. Um I I was brought up to be a Muslim, but I used to question my parents um about my about the religion and they always said to me that don't ask too much questions because Allah's not gonna like it. Okay. So and when they when they used to say that and I used to question my child like you know like um certain things that I I didn't particularly like you know um, from from what I seen and um it just it just it, it just kind of opened my eyes because my father was originally um he was Hindu and then he had to um, convert to Islam because they were killing a lot of the 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 Hindus and because my, my father's from um from east india um so they converted to um uh you had to convert to islam and it, it's never really sat with me so um by listening to your videos i mean like obviously i mean like what i've noticed that you know you you did a you did one with uh what's his name muhammad what's his name muhammad uh, uh the one in youtube yeah, YouTube. Um, uh, Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab. Yeah, that's it. He, um, he. I didn't like the way he um, disrespected you because, like, you were trying to get your point and all he kept doing is muting you. Uh, but I've noticed that, that a lot of the Muslim ones in the UK, they, lo they love to um, debate um, and not actually listen to the questions or the answers. So, and it made me just think, hold a minute, something don't sit with me and like what what the prophet's done and, you know, and and the women still allow to be treated like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. So what is the major reason make you leave Islam beside that Mimi Hijab is a stupid and he is a trashy person? Is that he like he is the real reason you, you know, you thought no, he is? Because I, I never knew that Muhammad actually married a nine years old girl. Six years old. I mean, sorry, six years old. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, then he, you know, actual, you know, but it's disgusting. Why didn't he, why didn't he uh, um, adopt her, you know, as a, as a child? Like, you know, he was 50, what, something. And uh, why didn't he just adopt her? Yeah. Well, uh, why he wouldn't adopt her? She have a parents anyway. <laughs> I mean, she's not an orphan. I heard, I heard once a Muslim saying, Muhammad, he married her because she was an orphan, but the, this, this year he forgot that Abu Bakr, he became a Khalifa after Muhammad, he died. Her father, he became a Caliphate. So how, how she is an adopted, you know, this is stupid. Or she is a or orphan. You know, Muslim, they come with false excuses. Uh, but there's way more important things than just uh, uh, marrying a child. Uh, Muslim, they can give it excuse as they wish, but you know the Quran is a stupid book full of stupid uh, history, stupid science, uh, stupid uh, grammar. Even the Arabic is horrible. Uh, fiction stories, flying carpets. Uh, uh, you know, Suleiman, he have a divers who they are genies. They dive to get him diamond. Uh, you know, Suleiman, uh, he have a goat. Uh, they are wives. They call them goat. So the Quran. Is a messed up book. It's not only reason because he have a wife. She is six years old. You know, this is See, this is one of many things. Yeah. Yeah, because and it's also very misleading because it said Muhammad had four wives, but then if you like, cause I tell you something, you open my eyes so much. Like, even my partner, he's Christian, and like, I, he didn't open my eyes. You open my eyes because I watched something from one of these guys who was debating as an Islamic guy, and somebody mentioned your name. So from there, I started watching it, and even my partner seen it. And I never knew that Muhammad, dirty Randy man, had had thirteen wives. And and wow, that just 
Wow. When when the first time you saw a video of mine? Okay, so somebody sent a link from some guy in in in, in the UK. He's a he converted to Islam. He was an atheist, and then he converted straight to Islam. He was a white guy. He's converted to Islam, mm. and then um, he was debating. I can't remember his name is now actually. And um, uh, somebody mentioned uh, your name. Mm. Like a, and I went to the link, and I thought interesting. So I started watching it, and I spent a couple of days watching it. I started watching it since Thursday. Um, and I've been watching it, and uh, oh, this I is learned a, few, a lot. It's just a few days ago. A few days ago, but I spent I spent a long time mm. watching your videos, and I watch it every time I get a chance. I listen to your videos. All right. So. Well, I'm happy that yeah, you decide to leave Islam. But uh, do you want? Do you, did you accept? Like, what is your religion now? Do you accept Jesus or what? I accept Jesus. Okay. Is definitely. Yeah, yeah, but you, you mentioned to me something about you have a partner. Yeah, he's Christian. He's Christian. Okay, but you know, as a as a Christian, when you say partner, do you mean a person he lives with you in the house, or just a, a business partner or a boyfriend? No, he's my business partner. He's my boyfriend. Yeah, but as a Christian, you cannot do that. As a Christian, either you marry the man and he marry you, or yeah. you cannot have such a relationship. So we cannot say we become a Christians and instead we are doing and practicing what is not a Christian, you know? Because yeah. this is wrong, you know it's wrong. So yeah. if he really yeah. if he really love you, he will marry you. Let you know? Yeah. If a man yeah, he marry a woman, he will marry her. He will not just uh, sleep with her. Okay. Yeah. So basically, is that I I'm I'm learning about uh, I'm finding my path. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I'm learning and I'm, and like I said, I'm learning from from you. Um, yeah, I understand. You are new. You know, you just you said you accepted Jesus, but this is the right yeah. way to live our life. You know, because uh, uh, when a man, you know, all men agree to sleep with women, all men. You know, mm. but a real man. Is the man who marry you, not the man who agree to sleep with you, the one you like, the one you want to be with. Otherwise, all men, yeah. you know, they are ready right away when they see a woman, she is beautiful, they go with her. Why not? But a real man who really love you, he will seek you mm -hmm. in marriage, not in boyfriend, girlfriend. Boyfriend, girlfriend, there's nothing. It's just a boyfriend. He can take his bag, bye bye. There's nothing, you know, it's just a, yeah. a, a company which is, you know, far away from Christianity. So when I say I become a Christian, I know that I'm coming from different belief and I have some maybe tradition or things which is not right, I used to do. But either I'm a Christian for real or I'm not. Yeah, I saw so it, it coming might be from... hard on you, I understand. But there's no middle way. Mm. Okay, but that's good because I'm learning from, from you and something that I need to pass on as well. So yeah, Do you read the Bible? Thanks. Did you start reading the Bible or not? Not. No, I'm, like I said, I'm I'm been looking into by just listening to what you right. okay. have been saying. Okay. But I, I say that. I yeah, would, well, I, I advise change. you to read the Bible. In the same time, uh, mm -hmm. you know what I'm telling you. I'm not trying to put you down, like in your relationship. No, no. I'm just giving you advice mm -hmm. that okay. don't waste your life with men who they accept to be with you but not to marry you. Okay. You know. I respect that. Yeah, because yeah. because uh, no, and this is uh, if uh, if we talk about the Bible, this is the only way we can do things in the right way. But okay. I know, I mean, okay. that's your life; it's your choice. Uh, but my advice to you that uh, you know, uh, if if a woman or a man he keep changing women every day, every day, and then what is the what is the what is the end of it? What what's happening? From like hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just be careful, and I advise you to read the Bible, and I'm happy that you decide to leave Islam, but you need to be, uh, you know, firm in your belief and do what your belief says to you. We cannot say, I yeah. accept Jesus, but I don't want to follow the teaching of Jesus. Yeah. Otherwise, I did not accept anything. I have to follow in order to be considered accepted. Yes. You know, Jesus is not an icon. As a picture, we follow the picture. No. Is a teaching. He is the word. He is uh, uh, the wisdom. So whatever he said, either we agree with it or we don't. If we don't, then we are not Christians. Okay. All right. Okay. I read the Bible and All right. so I can understand it more. Well, thank you for calling, uh, and uh, I pray for you that you will study more and learn more.
and uh, yeah. be be you know uh, be happy in your life in the future. Thank you for your advice. All right, and I will take it. All right, take Thank care. You. God bless you. Bye now. All right, we have a Muslim. Let us call him. And remember, you know, that uh, Many people they live, you know, a seeking boyfriend, but boyfriend is a boyfriend. Well, he don't care really for you. That's why he's a boyfriend. If he is serious, he will take you as a wife. He's a boyfriend for a reason, because simply he don't want any responsibility. He just want to have a company. So the culture of boyfriend and girlfriend never go take you anywhere. You no. Know? This guy, he texts me, but I cannot find him online. It says he is not online. All right. Well, we are happy for our this lady that she left Islam. And uh, look like uh, Mimi Hijab, he uh, have an impact on her to leave Islam too, which is good. Uh, you do not know I have a new Skype? No, we changed the Skype a long time ago. And we keep posting. How come you didn't see it? We keep posting the new sky. And we mentioned that many times. All right, looks like we are out of customers for today. No more customers. Omar Rabbi Omar. You know, I don't know. When uh, I, I want to be uh, like, I want to follow the teaching of a prophet of Allah in the way and rotate, he do follow it. I think this is the best way. Okay, we are calling Mr. Mehdi. Hello? Yeah, mostly Fakira. No, maybe not Fakira. Mute uh, YouTube, please. Hello. Go ahead. I hear you. How are you, Yamushrik? What you said? I said Mushrik. How are you? Mushrik. What Mushrik mean? A policy is. is uh, what what does are. that mean? Explain it to me. Go ahead. It means you worship multiple gods. And uh -huh. You worship a man. As I know that the one is a mushrik is the one who associate the name of a person, whoever he is, with the name of God. Is that correct? Associating partners with God, yeah. I don't understand you. Say again. Associating partners with God. Yeah, but don't you Muslim, you say shahada and you say you associate the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad? And? Isn't this is a shark? No. Okay, I want to ask you, when the first time your prophet here learned about monotheism? My prophet was always a monotheist. I'm asking you, so when? no, not always. No, no, he was. Okay, can you show me a verse in the Quran that says he was always monotheist? No, but Ali ibn Abi Talib said in a Sahih hadith, he never worshipped an idol. Uh, I said the Quran, you said Ali? Is Ali your prophet? Are you a Shia? No, I'm a Sunni. Okay, you are saying Ali, he said. Yeah, in a hadith. Okay, the Quran says, فَوَجَدَكَ ضَالًا وَجَدَكَ ضَالًا What does that mean? Uh, my Arabic is limited, you tell me. Yeah, so you are a person, how you understand your religion? Wait, can you say it again in Arabic? وَجَدَكَ ضَالًا You found you lost. And Muhammad was lost. Yeah, because he didn't have any religion. So are you saying to me, Muhammad, you said to me, he was always monotheist, and you Muslim, you lie to us, and you say he is Abrahamic, 
and now you just say it everybody heard you he don't have any religion everyone heard yeah. you he didn't have any religion yeah yeah so he was not abrahamic no yeah, i agree but he was still a monotheist how he have no religion and he was monotheist abraham is before muhammad and you must have you claim that abraham he came to to mecca right yeah and you claim even that muhammad was from the children of ishmael correct yeah okay how come he is not following abraham and ishmael what do you mean what would you mean you told me he have no religion those who follow no those who follow the teaching of Abraham, they call them Abrahamic. So you said yeah. yes, he is not Abrahamic. So what was his religion? He had no religion, but he used to worship God alone. In the, okay, you just said he uh, have no religion, but he worshiped God. Which God? And how you know? And where you get this from? The Quran says, He found you lost and he guided you. <laughs> Okay, and yeah, you can cough. You can cough. It's okay because this is need big cough. <laughs> yeah, because no, I this, my friend. I have my experience. Always when I speak to Muslims and they are in a deep hole, they cough. They start coughing. Oh. So I, you are not just the first one. Cough more. So when the Quran says, "You, you know, he found you lost. Lost what?" When I say to you, you are lost. Yeah. When I say to you, yeah. you, you were lost, and I guided you. He was lost what, mean in the GBS in the highway. It doesn't mean I'm a polytheist. What are you talking about? Huh? It doesn't mean I'm a polytheist. I don't care. Tell me what he was lost with. He was lost. Lost okay. me lost. He had no the, the only the only time God he said to a person, You are lost if he is not worshipping him. Because a, a believer no, he, will, no. he will never be lost. No, he didn't submit to the teachings of Isa. At that time. What he said, I'm asking you now, why, why you are mixing with this with that? I'm asking you if the because Quran says, order, my friend, my friend, order, if the Quran says that he was lost, why Allah accusing Muhammad to be lost? Because he wasn't Abrahamic. Because he was not following Abraham. No, he wasn't. He didn't follow any Abrahamic religion. He so what he was following? The, so what he was following? Nothing. He was just worshiping God. How you can worship without knowing who's your God? Just praying to the Creator. That's it. Is there a problem with that? Guys, he prayed to the Creator. Which which Creator? To the Creator, to the one and only uh, Creator. No, no, no. I'm asking you, which Creator? In Islam, there's many Creators. What do you mean? You said to me that you Muslims are monotheist, and monotheist mean. You believe in one creator. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. But the Quran says Allah is one of many creators. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators? Yes. So how he is the only creator, but he is the best of the creators? Because there's another verse in the Quran which also mentions this, uh, best of creators. But it is uh, categorized in two categories. When Allah says he's the best of creators, Creators is in two categories, which is the false God and the one and only true God, which is Allah. And Allah mm -hmm. is the best of creators, which means he is the one and only true God. Very smart answer, genius. But look what happened. If I say I'm the best of the liar, that's mean I am a liar. So if they are false God, as you said, and he said, I am the best of the false, that means he is the most false. No, I said it's categorized into two no, categories. You, the yeah, false you said that. I heard you. You said he is categorizing between real creator and false creator. But Allah is saying, I am the best of the creators. According to you, the creators is the false creators. So when Allah he says he is the best no, no, of the false you, creators, you, you that means he is the most <laughs> false one between them. He is the top liar. I said... When it says creators, it means two things: the true creators and the false, uh, the true creator and the uh, false creators. That's what I said. Exactly. So there is. He said, but he said, I am the best of the creators. This is why you mentioned to me that Allah He meant false creator and real creator. But when Allah He says, I am the best of those creators, there's no other creators. That's it. Those creators, you are the one saying to me, they are false. Allah is saying, I am the best of them. That means He is one of them and He's false too. Other people believe in them. That's why Allah mentions them. 
what, what do you mean when you say i am the best of the liars that means you're a liar no you are the liar sir okay, my friend you don't know what you're, you're trying to escape the embarrassment you just said that the other creators are false creators and then how allah then he is the best of the false creators i never said that what are you talking you said about? that you said to me that when allah he said the creator he meant the creators he meant the false creators but the verse in front I'm, of us I'm says, Allah is the best of I will add your word not my word the, he is the best of the false creators <sighs> when did I say that man when? do you want to cough <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah don't do it too much you know because you know you, you might uh, lose your teeth so Allah is the best of the creators that mean he is the best of the liars and this is contrary to what Muslim they claim that Allah is the only creator so either there is a creator or there is no creator and when Allah he used the word best that means he is one of them he is not different if I say I'm the best of the students that's no, mean no, I am a student like them I'm not different he's saying he's the only true God how he is the only true God but he is saying I am the best of the gods because all the people believe in those gods. No, you see, it doesn't matter if they believe or not. He is the one who is adding the word best, comparing himself to them. So either the Quran have a wrong, stupid Arabic, and Allah do not speak good Arabic. He learned, you know, his Arabic in Afghanistan from Taliban. Or Allah, he speak good Arabic. And you Muslim, you claim Allah, Quran is amazing. So here, when Allah, he says he is the best of the creators, he is not condemning the creators. He is actually praising them he said they are good but I'm, I'm better you know Allah said in the Quran he will throw the false gods and in, into hellfire on the day he will do what he will do what he will throw the, these false gods into hellfire on the day of judgment okay how you can throw someone does not exist the idols and stuff how you can burn idols and, and by the way there's a hadith I don't don't change topic. Says, don't uh, change topic I, I'm going you know, with you how you can burn how you can burn false gods there, there, this, there's a hadith which says, uh, if anyone draws or something alive, Allah will say to that on the person on the on the day of judgment. If an animal what? Make alive. If you draw something like a living uh, being on the, uh, then Allah will say to you on the day of judgment, bring that which you have uh, brought alive, so it will become okay, alive. Okay. What what Allah he will say to you? He will say to you, blow on it, right? Huh? He will ask you to blow in the picture you draw. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But look how stupid this statement is. So Allah is saying that the one who can blow on a picture and make it, a picture here, the word surah, which means shape, and make it yeah. uh, come to life, he is God, correct? Make it come, he's God? You just say to me that the hadith, and the hadith in front of you on the screen, from Ibn Abbas, it says here, I heard the Messenger of Allah saying, everyone painter, everyone who make a shape, not, not the picture, a shape of a person or something, uh, he will go to hell. And yeah. when in the day of judgment, Allah will bring him and he will ask him to blow in it to give her life, to make it alive, yeah. correct? Okay. So what we understand from this, the one who can give a shape a life is God. Do I agree? Well, uh, Isa alayhi salam created a bird. By Thank Allah. you very much. So now we have two creators. We have the oh, one. The, listen, listen. Your prophet, he just made a stupid statement. He said that the one who make a shape or a, a picture, Allah will punish him in the day of judgment. And he will say, hey, do blow, do blow. And give it life, give it life like the same as I do. But you just said, that Isa can do that. So now we confirm that there's many creators and you Muslims are false. You claim there's only one creator. Now we discover the second one. He is Jesus. But you do realize Allah says in the Quran. The Christians also made this claim that Jesus is God because he performed those My miracles. My friend, this Allah is not the question. I'm asking you. How many, people, how, many, how many in your religion can be called the creators now? You just added one Jesus. Huh? One. 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 What do you mean one? You just said to me, Jesus can do that too. By Allah's permission. Okay, hold on. If Allah gave me permission to do it, that would not change the fact that I'm a creator now. 
No, because permission also means Allah will be no, involved. No, first of the... all, there's no proof of this permission because Allah could not prove yeah, even yeah, he yeah, can yeah. do anything. Secondly, I can say so now, I, hold on, I can say I gave the permission to Jesus. I gave even the permission to Allah. I gave the permission to everybody. This is a statement, talk is cheap. But here, even if I give permission, if I give you a license, a license huh, to be a doctor, that not to change the fact that you become a doctor, even though I am the one who issued to you the license. So what do you say to me that Allah give him permission? That's even more stupid because now Allah, he decide to give his ability of a creation to Jesus. So now we have two creators. When, when Jesus, can you go to chapter 5 verse 110? Then it will explain what bi'at nillah means. I, 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 you know, I know what, uh, you don't speak Arabic and you are telling me you can explain what bi'at nillah. It says by his Allah permission, but doesn't matter. I just answer. No, no, no. If Allah, no, my friend, no, my friend, no, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid what you just said. Just to show you what how stupid what you say. Isn't it everything happening in this earth according to Islam is by the permission of Allah anyway? Yeah, but wait. When no, no, you no, go to that anyway. verse, no, hold on, hold on. Is it by the permission I mean, of Allah? Is... Hold on, step by step. Isn't it according to you, Muslims? Everything happened by the permission of Allah. Yeah. Okay. So. As long all of us we have the permission of Allah, that means Allah He chose in Jesus only to have a special permission. Do we agree? Yeah, of course. Of course, wonderful. The same of course. But uh, so the permission is to something? do what? Can you tell me the permission to do what? Okay, Jesus said, "I will blow by the permission of Allah, and it will become a birth." By the permission of Allah, so Allah is involved in the creation. No, no. Yes, it's it says there in the no, verse. No, 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 no. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says I. Go, hold, hold on, hold on. What you just said, you said half of the truth. Who is going? Who is the one is going to blow? Jesus. Why he is blowing if Allah is going to give the life? Why is blowing? Because uh, because uh, how does it become a bird? It needs to. To be blown, right? Okay, that's mean the life which is given to the bird is from the life of Jesus, from the spirit, a spirit, a spirit giving the soul given from Jesus, not from Allah. It's not Allah who blows. Who is the one who blows? Who is the one who blows? Is it Allah or Jesus? You said Jesus. Okay. When I say blow, that's mean it is from inside the chest of Jesus. The soul is coming. Do we agree? The ruh is coming. Yeah. Okay. That's mean. That Jesus, he can generate souls from inside him. But Jesus said right after that, it becomes. A I don't care, my religion. friend. We just now yeah, discover. We just discover that the soul which is given to the bird is given from inside Jesus, and you agreed. But it cannot become a bird by the, without the permission of Allah. My That's friend, you my keep part. repeating the same thing. Doesn't matter now. Allah gave him permission, and now Jesus, he can generate souls. He himself is a soul maker. You just agreed. Everybody without, heard you. You Allah, said it's coming without from Allah. inside the chest of Jesus. So the soul is not coming from Allah. So who is the one who gave the bird the soul? You said everybody heard you, Jesus. So now we have Jesus is the creator of that soul. You said because you have a permission, it doesn't change anything. It's still the manufacturer of that soul is Jesus. So your God Allah, he have a friendship fries business. So he said, hey Jesus, I'm going to open a branch with you. From now on, you start creating souls, okay? So I created souls one day, I'm tired. From now <laughs> on, you start creating birds. But Jesus cannot create whenever he wants. That's Who said thing. so? That's my Who said so? Allah in the Quran. No, it doesn't say so. Here we go, read it. It says, I can, I can, I can, I can. Those are all, I have them. I can make that, I can resurrect people from death. I can make the blind see. I can even create from the mud. I can make a shape. I, I breathe into it, and this is what God does. So, what is left for By Jesus Allah cannot do? What is By what Allah is left to Jesus cannot do? He can even tell you what is you hide in your houses. Ah, but uh, in Islam, didn't Muhammad Wasallam split the moon? Okay, you know what? I will shave my one hundred foot beard if you can show me a verse says he split the moon. It's also in the Hadith. No, this is not in the hadith. This is in yeah. the Quran. Are you are you are you are you uh, are you dipping the Quran now in the in the dump? Why you go to the hadith? 
so uh, are you saying to me hold on are you saying to me that the hadith what muslims they got miracles about muhammad from the quran never mentioned a miracle yeah there is miracles in the quran about Muhammad. okay hold on you stuff. said to me that the moon is split correct yeah all right yeah. i ask you where we can find this say to me in the hadith so are you saying the quran did not mention that the one who split the moon is muhammad well allah after mentioning the moon splitting just say oh uh just say to the prophet to turn away from the pagans who deny this miracle so basically speaking it logically speaking it is saying that the prophet was, was the one who no performed the read it carefully it says the hour has come near the translation is wrong uh, uh, very near oh. and the moon split it doesn't even say who is the one who split it who's who split this moon go to verse six it will tell you okay who okay, tell me yeah. uh, put it on the screen where where it says that's muhammad can you read it because uh, it's okay. late on the so screen. turn away from them when the day the carrier call the, the painful business what the heck does it have to do with the moon it's about the judgment day okay so so who is Allah speaking to he's talking to Muhammad and the Muslims okay. and all of you so, uh, no he's, 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 he's talking to uh, Muhammad okay let's say he's talking to Muhammad so where is where is the verse says that Muhammad he split the moon because why would Allah say to the uh, prophet to turn away from okay the hold on my friend the my friend first of all first of all is the moon split? Huh? Huh? You can cough. Is the moon now split? No. No. So that this is a lie. Because if Allah split the moon, if there is a verse in the Quran says Allah He put it together, no. In so what hadith. happened? Hold on. So what happened? Allah He split the moon and then He went to Walmart and He buy a crazy glue and He put it together now fix it. The Quran says Allah split the moon. So the moon should be split until now, but there's no split for the moon. The moon is still there laughing at you. So this is, and you agreed that the moon is not a split. So this is a fabrication. There's an eclipse. There's an eclipse. And the foolish Muhammad, he claimed that this is the moon splitting. But the hadith say the pieces of the two moon went My friend, to the you other just side said of the no. mountain. You just said no. You just said that the moon is not a split. I asked you, is the moon split now? You said no. Correct? But the hadith say it was turned back together though okay guys the hadith says it turned back together hmm. why yeah. allah he put the moon together back because he only split it to make the pagans believe in muhammad did they believe so, did they believe no 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 because nobody saw anything no, because the Quran says we will not give the miracle to the Jews okay, because on. the people both. Okay, chapter of the chapter of Al Qamar, my friend. Chapter of Al Qamar. Does it yeah. came before the chapter of Al Rad or after? Uh, which one? The which Qamar, chapter? the Qamar, and Al Rad, the thunder. Which oh, come? I, I... Which come? Which one came before? Which chapter number? Because I don't know. Okay, I'm talking about a chapter 13 in the Quran. Oh, chapter 13, know. verse number 7 and verse number 27, 13, 7, 13, 27. Both of them says that we wish that one, just one miracle from his God. Just one miracle, man. But if we go to the books of, uh, 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 according to Muslims, the revelation order, we will find that the chapter of Arad 13 came long after the chapter of the moon mm. Mm. that's me and there's no but miracle happening before allah. hold on hold on no 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 but no but who's allah speaking to in chapter 13. it doesn't matter it doesn't matter him? if the, if the no. quran the quran confirm that he don't have a single miracle from his god yet what do you say that the quran what do you say that my friend, read it. The it says, how come the Quran says that the kuffar they said, how come his God did not yeah, give him a single... Listen, listen, let us read together. How come his God did not give him one, just one single miracle? Allah answers saying, Allah, he deceived as he wished and he got as he wished. What does it say one single miracle? What does it say that? It's what in front of that? you. Because why is not a sign sent down? But by the way, yeah, this is one, not one sign. Like the Jews. Ayah, ayah. In Arabic, it says ayah, one sign. Ayah, not ayat. 
ayah. So one sign from his God. Yeah, Just a one. Sign, a sign. So now sign. Muhammad, <laughs> hold on, hold on, listen. <laughs> Muhammad now, Muhammad, he, how many chapter he received before he, and, and the, those people, they keep saying to him, just one, just one, one, you know, one, just one. What? How many chapter okay, he was? Okay, you know, the moon spinning occurred while Muhammad was in Mecca with the pagans, in what early happened? Islam. What? So after the moon spinning happened while Muhammad was in Mecca with the pagans, correct? In the early days of Islam. Okay, and this one happened where? In Medina, when he was like interacting okay, with the Jews. Okay, so which one happened? So, which one happened after? Which one happened before? This one, so this, when one Allah says, this one happened after yeah. so if Muhammad already have a miracle that is a clear contradiction for the Quran and that would be stupid because the Quran should say well didn't I uh, split the moon for you you liar no he confirmed he says okay, okay well Allah he guide as you wish and he must guide as you wish he did not say to them well I did miracle this is the Jews my it's friend the pagans chapter of Arad what is the number of the chapter of Arad in the life of Muhammad I know this was revealed after Qamar. Right? No, no, I know it's after, but how long after? Well, I don't know. Is on Muhammad almost dead. This is the chapter 96. 96. Oh. And yet Muhammad, yeah, hold on. And yet Muhammad, he have zero miracle. Let's say zero miracle. This is 96. This is the chapter 96. And the Arab asking him, how come not a single miracle? Yeah. And look how stupid the verse says, Allah, he deceived yeah. as he wish, and he guide as he wish. So Allah, instead of saying to them, no, no, we gave him miracle, many miracles, you are a liar. He said to them, okay, okay, you know what? I deceive as I wish, and I lie as I wish, and I guide as I wish. Allah is Satan. My friend, there's a book written by a classical Islamic scholar where he mentions over 1200 authentic hadiths of the miracles of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa My friend, here we go. One verse in the Quran, burn all the book you are talking about. Because are you are you believing in this scholar or the Quran? No, but the Quran never... This is talking about people after the pagans. What after the pagan? Muhammad now is almost dead, my friend. Muhammad now is in control. He have an army. And you know he is uh, still the, actually in the same chapter it says that twice not only once verse number seven and verse number 27 and again he repeat the same thing the disbelievers say why not a sign send down to him from his Lord he said Allah said to him you are only a warner so Allah confirmed he said okay you are not supposed to make a sign it's in the front of you this is the chapter 13 verse number seven Allah he confirmed why he did not give him a sign because you are just a warner you are not even a prophet there's a, there's another verse in the Quran no, where, no. where it's just say in front of no, you does it say why he did not give him a wait, sign wait wait please. I'm gonna explain there's another verse in the Quran where which explains why Allah did not send another sign it's because Allah says in the Quran the people before you rejected the signs hmm but still that's mean he never had that's a sign right. No, it does. It means he does have one. No, it's me before you. The reason he did not have a sign because he because people they reject and this is false because isn't it the Christian believe in the signs of Jesus? Isn't it even the, the, the one the first Christians who become a Christian? They are Jews and they believe in have Jesus read, and they believe in Moses and they believe the in the my friend. This is a false and look what you just said. You just said contradiction. You just said. Because former generation did not believe in the signs, former correct? People. For, yeah, former people. So yeah, talking former about people, yeah. yeah so it could be the, talking about okay, so this is the excuse, but you just said to me, Allah, he made a sign. He gave him 1,200 miracles. Yeah. Okay, but you just said to me, the reason he will not give him a sign, because the people before, they did not believe in them. And then you are saying to me that there is a book saying that the prophet, he have 1,200 miracles. So which one is the stupid one? The one who says, I did not give you miracles because they will not believe anyway. Or the one says in a book, Muhammad, he have 1,200 miracles. No, it doesn't say I did not give him a miracle when no one friend, does say that. I challenge you to show me the verse says he received a miracle. And as you see, this is a chapter of Arad. Chapter number 96 in the Old Quran, 
it is number 13 in the new fabricated Quran and it says why not even a single sign from his Lord Allah he answered him, it is not for you it's not for you to give a sign for you are because you are just a warner what warner mean someone who warns the people about hellfire so he is not a prophet <laughs> that's what a prophet is no Do you know what a prophet okay is? hold on I will go with you I will go with you so when Allah he make an excuse he did not give him a sign because he's a warner so what does that mean yeah. A prophet is someone who uh, speaks who, that God selected. No, no problem, no problem. I'm, I'm going with you. I'm trying to understand. So when Allah He said, gave the reasoning why He did not give him a sign, He said, "You are only a warner." Okay, that's mean a warner should not give a sign. So the one who give a sign, he should be someone else, not a warner. So Muhammad was what. Muhammad, but can you ask that again? Okay, listen carefully. Focus with me. You can cough. You want to cough now or after? So listen. <laughs> All right, good. You're doing good. So when, when the disbelievers is saying, why not a sign sent down to him from his Lord? Allah answer, and Allah is smart, as you know. He said, you are only a warner, and every people, there is a guide. Okay, so what Muhammad's job is, is not his job to make a sign. His job is to warn only. So who is the one who can make a sign a miracle? It's not someone like Muhammad because he's just a warner. No, no, that's not what it says. No, that's what it says. No, but the, the people before Muhammad, uh, the, the people before the people who asked the miracle, they rejected Muhammad's sign. So Allah said, I will not send My friend, hold on. No, it, it doesn't say that. It says you are only, they are asking. Why not even one sign? What rejected? How they can reject it? And they are asking him for one sign. They are begging him, please, one, just one. Why your Lord don't give you one? The answer is, well, you are just a warner. It's like saying to somebody, you know, uh, uh, why this guy, he cannot give us a medicine. And then you say to him, well, you are not a doctor. This is not your job. Well, you, so yeah. it's not the job yeah, of Muhammad. It's not the job. It's not the qualification of Muhammad to give a sign. So now we go back to zero. How come Jesus, he can make the blind see? He can tell you what you had in your houses. He can create it from the mother bird. He is alive right now. He is born of a virgin, which means he is a miracle. Mary herself is a miracle. His life is a miracle. His death is a miracle. His born is a miracle. He can make the blind see. He can heal the leper. He can tell you your, your secrets. And Muhammad, he didn't have a single one in the Quran. And his God saying to him, you are just a warner. Was Jesus just a warner too, like Muhammad? Of course, Jesus was just a warner. So why Jesus, he been given all the signs and Muhammad as a warner did not receive any? He did though. That's the, my point. The, the verse in the front of you, this is a chapter 96. This is the yeah. end of the life of Muhammad. Muhammad is already dying now. I understand. Yeah. So the Quran confirmed that he never had a miracle. But I, you know what? I will help you. No. Muhammad, he had a miracle. Can I help you with it? Yeah. Did you know Muhammad had miracles with his, uh, when he was a child? Well, that's amazing. Like for example, when How come it's not in the Quran? For example, uh, when he milked a cow that couldn't give milk, it started giving milk. There's no when cows he... in the Arabian Peninsula. What cow? Or sorry, uh... How do you call it? Uh, lamb or something? I, I don't know how you call that. Uh, okay, listen, listen. So, are you saying oh, to oh, me oh, oh. that your God Allah, He remember every miracle Jesus He did, He put it in the Quran, but Allah He forgot to mention the miracle of Muhammad when He was a child? No, because the presence of Muhammad itself was the miracle, my friend. What, what, what? The presence of Muhammad itself was the miracle. When he uh that doesn't matter went, how come uh, Allah remember the miracle of Moses? How come he remember the ant speaking to Solomon and Solomon discussing with the ant and he discussed with the hood hood and he have found the you know the flying carpet, all those stupid stories, and now the most important person in history, according to Muslims, Muhammad, Allah never mentioned his miracle in the Quran. It was in the past though. Doesn't matter stories. in the past. There's a past and the future for Allah. 
Like when Allah, he mentioned the miracle of Sulaiman, is that wasn't, wasn't in the past? If it was like if Muhammad was people before them, then yes, of course, he would have mentioned. Doesn't like matter. Muhammad, Isn't it a miracle worse to be discussed? Which one is more important? Solomon, he heard an ant talking or Muhammad is making a miracle. You tell me. But uh, Jesus is like all the prophets are mentioned way more than Muhammad in the Quran. I don't care. I'm asking you, how come the ant is more important than your prophet? What ant? What do you mean? No, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran, there's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of the ants. You are telling me what ant? No problem, but okay. I have a question about Why the chapter of the ant called the chapter of the ants? But I have a question about Christianity. Hold on, you are trying to escape now. You can cough. So you see here, no, wait, wait. you're saying to me what ant, and here we see a very silly conversation. Allah have all the time and the ink to write his stories, which is not even good for kids, but he don't have time to tell us that Muhammad did miracles. Obviously, those are fabricated miracles. Muslim, they add them 300 years after Muhammad. Al-Bukhari, when Bukhari came to existence, Muhammad was dead. He become dust. And, you know, the, 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 uh, the cats and the dogs ate him. And now Al-Bukhari came in to tell us that Muhammad, he made a miracle. But the Quran says the opposite. So I'm asking you now, which, one, you which one is more important to mention? What he did. Wait, wait. Why you mention the hadith though? If you don't believe in hadith, I don't believe in your book too. I mention it. Doesn't mean I believe it. I'm la I'm laughing at the Quran. Okay. So so if I quote for you the Quran, that's mean I believe in it. I laugh at it. This is a stupid book. Look at this. The guy Solomon. He's my cousin, by the way. He was walking in the desert. We can cough, and then he flying in the carpet, and then he heard one of the ants saying to the other ants, "Hide, otherwise every man will crush you." But remember, Suleiman at that point, he was a flying in the flying carpet. So how he will crush them? And then we find that this ant, she have a very sharp vision, which is not true. She can see to a million mile in the sky. And she noticed that this is Suleiman. And then Suleiman in the top of the sky, in his Boeing 777, he heard the ant because the wind carried the ant voice to him. But ants are mute. They did not even talk. They are deaf. And they communicate by chemical and vibration, but let it go. And then Suleiman ordered the flying carpet to land down. And then he said, bring me the ant. He called her. The ant, she came voluntarily. She said, yes, Prophet of Allah, it's me who said that. He said to her, why you said that? Don't you know I am just? He said to her, she said to him, I know you are just. But those ants, if they see the beauty, your beauty, they will be tempted. An ant is being tempted by a prophet Solomon. Allah. What do you mean, as Allah? This is your stories. Allah. My yes. friend, Allah. do you want me to show? Subhanallah. He's saying, Subhanallah. He like it. He's saying, Subhanallah. Of course. And instead of saying this is stupid, he is saying, Praise be to Allah. He like, he love it. How the ant she would be tempted Allah. by Suleiman? Subhanallah al -Azim. Allahu Akbar. Okay, so now you you agree that you've been defeated, so you start screaming, Subhanallah al-Azim, Subhanallah al-Azim. Subhanallah al-Azim. What's wrong with the story? What's it's wrong beautiful with the story. story? So are you saying to me that ants, they like to sleep with men and they get tempted by men? They have their own world. Okay, and this is not a question. I'm asking you a very easy question. Are you saying to me that an ant she will be tempted by a beauty of a man and she will get horny. Can you ask it in a normal way? Can you what? Can you ask it in a normal way instead of saying horny? What? No, there's normal way. Here we go. The story in the front of us it says that she is afraid that they will be tempted by the beauty. Okay, ant. Okay, how the ant will be tempted by Suleiman? You explain to me. What Sulaiman is doing? He's wearing a bikini. And what kind of an ant? They get tempted by a man. He's a human. They are ants. Like if Sulaiman was a sexy ant, I would say, I would understand. Is he a sexy ant at that time? No, he was a human. So how the ant would be tempted by the beauty? Are you, are you trying to make uh, fun, fun of the stories in the Quran? My friend, I'm making fun. I mean, you call a Christian prince oh. and you're asking him if he's making fun. Your religion is stupid. Fun, what fun? But, this but, is the most stupid religion ever. And look, you cannot answer. So you say, are you making fun? So now oh, you discover oh, oh. I'm making fun. 
Now, after talking to me all this time, now you discover that I'm making fun. You must be smart. You can cough. So I'm oh, asking you, okay. how in the okay, world wait, you accept wait. and you say to me, this is a true story. Okay, how come you're a prophet? He did not have a flying carpet. He did not hear the end. He stopped down. And why Allah did not mention that in the Quran? Why this is a story in the Quran? But the story of your prophet is speaking to the lizard. Your prophet, even when he decided to do poo-poo, he asked three trees to come so they can put him in shade. I don't know why even he wouldn't stay in shade by three trees. I mean, how many hours? Because the shade will not change in two seconds. It have to be a long, long, like all day poo-poo because shade of tree will switch after maybe three hours, four hours. But you don't need shade and the trees come to him. And even he claimed that the, the, the you Muslims claim that the trees say shahada. I mean, the talking trees, they say shahada. Even the hadith says that the prophet, there is a stone. He When he walk next to it, it says, As-salamu alaykum, prophet. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So why come, how come those stories are not in the Quran, but this story of the Mrs. Ant, peace be upon her, is in the Quran. Go ahead. Because Allah has mentioned in the past. Allah is what? Past stories of the Allah's mentioning the past stories of the prophets. No problem, Muhammad. He okay, did yeah. in the past. You said to me, you said to me, Allah, he mentioned what is in the past. But Muhammad is still alive. So if he did the miracle today, well, Muhammad, still he can receive a verse tomorrow about what happened in the past, which is yesterday or last year. But we don't find one one in the Quran saying so. But uh, isn't there like talking snakes and donkeys in the Bible? You are trying to change the topic. Those oh, are not those are not really snake. This is about the serpent. And by the way, as long as you are talking about a snake, is it true that your prophet described Islam as a snake? What does that have to do with anything? Well, I just told you the snake is Satan, and you are saying to me what that have to do with anything? How Islam became a snake? He didn't though. He said it will it will be strange and return again, just like the snake uh, it's, returns back to it. It's going home. to be what? Can you say again? It will be strange and it will return back, just like the way a uh, snake will return to its hole. So your prophet, he didn't even say the word snake. He said serpent, correct? Same thing. Same thing. Okay. So serpent is the word used in the Bible for Satan. And your God, Muhammad, he described Islam as a serpent. Will go where, you said? In the hole? Did you say hole in the ground? Yeah. Why Islam will go down in a hole in the ground? <sighs> There's another hadith which explains this. No, no, don't. don't. You can, you can go to the second hadith as you wish. Tell me why he want to go, why he described Islam as a serpent will go inside a hole. Because he's giving you guys an example. That's it. He uses many examples. He could not find possible. example better than saying the eagle come back to its nest. Uh, the the, the uh, you know uh, it's something good. I mean, he described Islam as a serpent, and he described it going inside the hole. Who is down in the earth in the ground? Is that God? Or this is the devil, according to Islam. My friend, you don't have to take it uh, serious. What are you talking about? So are you saying to me we should not take what Muhammad says serious? No, but like you're saying it's Satan and all that. No, he was just giving... <laughs> yeah, it he was giving it's time to cough, you're right. So now, Islam is coming back to its hole. And Muhammad, he chosen the perfect word for Islam. For obviously Islam is satanic. And you say to me, you don't take it literally. So why Muhammad choose whole? What he meant by the whole? You can cough. Did I lose him? Well, he hung up. Okay. It's time to cough. <laughs> I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? The prophet, he described his religion as a snake. And you know, the funny is that this religion, 
have answer for everything after a coffin. What's wrong with the story? Well, nothing wrong with the story. Except that, obviously, your prophet is a false prophet. Except that every prophet have a wonderful miracle. Except your prophet, he is speaking as a someone. She is a widow. Her husband just died. Oh, you know, Allah did not give me because I'm just a warner. And then he tries start telling us about miracles of other prophets. But where is yours? Where is yours? How come all of them they have and you have none? Hmm? Obviously, Muhammad is the, is the devil himself, and Islam is the religion of Satan. Did we have a good time, guys? Anyway, this person, I don't know, he lost his call. He can call me again. Uh, uh, maybe next time we go live. Uh, but I hope he will learn why we laugh at Islam. And I find it very funny when he said, are you laughing? Are you making fun? <laughs> well, don't you agree with me? This is so stupid and silly. This the, 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 the ants get tempted. Now I know why in the other day an ant she did bite me. Soon like she was kissing me. Horny ant. Subhanallah, subhan I tell him the ant she got tempted, he says subhanallah. Do you see how they refute you? <coughs> subhanallah. What's wrong with the story? <coughs> uh, what's wrong with the story? Nothing wrong in the story. There's no story in the story. It's just an idiot. Even, even this story is not good for kids. And how the guy is a flying with the flying carpet and then the ant, she is afraid he will crush her. He's flying. Someone said, look, this is a smart Muslim. Now he is trying to get me busted. Uh, where is his comment? Okay, hold on. This is a Muslim man. He said, Alisk, Alexa, Alexa. He said, this is a very touchy message, by the way. You just hurt the nerve. Christian Brands, did some Muslim lady broke your heart? And that's why you are so mad at Allah and the Prophet? That is not the right thing to do. Well, thank you, my friend. I was waiting for your message. My friend, uh, as a Muslim, I have a more harsh story. It was not one, it was four. In fact, they were 99. In fact, they are 100 because my name is Solomon and I have nine, a 100 wife. I mean, this guy, they cannot answer the stupid religion. Now they want to blame Muslim women. They broke my heart. They left my bed. I mean, what a genius you are. What about you answer what I just said and what I showed you on the screen? And now you are playing your, your you are blaming your mother that she left me and broke my heart. Trust me, you are not my son. What a stupid religion. Did the Muslim woman broke your heart? Well, Muslim women, Muslim women, they don't, you know, Muslim women, you marry them, you pay them a contract of nukah, you know, some money, and they go. What break heart? There's no heart in Islam. There's no marriage. There's no love. A person who loves a woman, he marry a woman, not women. We are not the chickens. What heart? Do you even Muslims have heart? If you have a heart, you will marry a, man, a woman and you will stay with her. Not every few years you save some money, you, you exchange your wife with a new brand new one. The older will put it in the garage, the new one we will put it in the front door. Do you even have a heart? You don't. Anyway, I hope you guys you have a good time. Uh, feel free to download the video as long you know, as long you don't no, we don't uh, keep them for long. Uh, we will try to trim this part where we spoke to this Muslim maybe tomorrow. So, you know, uh, 
Uh, people will laugh at how Muslims they refute us. And I'm sure he is proud about how good he was in his debate. And the Muslim will be proud about him too. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And now I have to go and uh, I have to do consultation with Allah because I decide to open a web camera business like Android Tate and then I will convert to Islam and Taliban will contact me because now we are brothers in the same business which is the pimp business thank you all may the Lord bless you and we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is a fraud and we prove it every time thank you